It's happening. It's happening. It took a while. <laughs> it took a while. But yes, we have an official announcement that Licorice Coil is coming back for another anime. I am way too excited. I, I didn't even get a chance to drink my coffee. I just woke up this morning and see this announcement. And I just like, oh my gosh, freak out. Oh, now the, the sad news is this is just early announcement. This is just them literally saying it's happening. They said, and they haven't even specified the format. They're just basically saying new anime production decision. The story of the two never ends. That's it. <laughs> new animation production. That's it. Which again, kind of leads it into either being a TV series or a movie. Now, I think specifically because they're saying new animation production, it kind of leans me more towards, it pushes me over towards the movie realm. Because typically whenever they do, whenever they decide on a TV animation, they're usually pretty quick about saying that. So it sort of makes me believe it's going to be a movie. And I think that a lot of people, when the first season ended, their initial thoughts was they're probably going to have a movie. They, they, they're, they have to bank on this. This sucker is way too big. And yes, while... A lot of TV broadcasts can make them a lot of money. Movies right now is where it's at. I mean, you look at Demon Slayer and stuff and One Piece. Movies is where it's at. And so if they can really hit in on an audience and get them into theaters, get those little extra tickets and all that kind of stuff, that's where it's at. So that's kind of where I'm pushing more towards. And yes, with them and their current location, Hawaii, I think it could probably do like a really quick Hawaii mission they take on. But Honestly, I really like the fact that it is kind of one of those series where they left some doors open. They weren't emphasized and they didn't put too much work into them so that you felt like they were unfinished. They had the main story. The main story was finished. But there was all these, these little side doors that were opened up that they can technically get into. I mean, one of the big things is the Lily Bells. And I, it was kind of shocking because like way late in the series, they have like out of nowhere, one of these Lily Bills shows up and he looks very unique looking. Like his character design kind of stood out. And I was like, well, that's that's got to be a character for a second season. That's got to be a character for, I don't know, maybe a spinoff series. They left the door open for possible other storylines. The big one being Lily Bells. A lot of the main core storyline about, about how what's kind of overlooking everything. Those things they can technically get into. But again, with the fact that they went off to Hawaii which is still within reach of Japan, let's be honest. It almost feels like that's probably their next route they're going to be going, is just to have maybe some quick story, some mission that's in Hawaii, taking care of something there, get the band back together and keep it moving. But I hope it's another season. I, I really, really do hope that they just kind of keep giving us seasons. Now, don't overplay it. If they don't have anything, don't touch it. But still, if they have something there they want to write about, which I really really love this writer the writer behind bento i'm sure they're probably gonna have the same writer involved with it now i i have promised they know how to write these characters and introduce new characters will be fine as well now the obvious concern that i and many other people have right now is can the new anaplex handle this now granted this isn't a new anaplex let's be perfectly honest but when liquidity coil was airing they were on fire like a1 pictures anaplex was on fire like they had Literally that, they had Engage Kiss, which, yes, story-wise, you can you could debate, but it was still visually really awesome. And now, we co now we're coming into this new year, this 2023, this new Aniplex, this new A1 Pictures, and it just feels like they're falling apart. Like, we just got the announcement that Misfit of Demon King Academy has been delayed now. So that's literally Fate Strange Fake. Unite Up, Near Automata, Ayakashi Triangle, and now Misfit of Demon King Academy have all been delayed. I don't think that Buddy Daddies will because that's A1 Pictures working on that and they're not really known for delays, but either way you look at it, something's going on with Aniplex. And again, this isn't something new. This is a company that has had problems in the past with A1 Pictures and stuff with like 86 and stuff. This is a this is a company that does not know how to function properly. I mean, they're big. Let's not be let's not beat around the bush. They're big, but I think it's more of the fact that they're so they're so focused on outsourcing really all their projects. They don't really do much in their own house that with the restraints and the large amount of anime that's being produced, they don't have like their own staff. It almost feels like they just don't have their own people to work on stuff. So they're relying on other people and that those resources are drying up. So again, to the, the note of this announcement, I just hope that by the time this comes around, 
they get their crap together because again, they are at their worst than they ever have been. And it makes me afraid that that's going to, that's going to stain into Licorice Coil. And I don't want that. Technically, Licorice Coil itself, towards the later parts of the series, it started to get a little rough. Like, the early segments of Licorice Coil was, was amazing. Like, the animation, the action scenes were so clever and so well put together. But I have to admit that, like, in that third quarter area, it almost feels like the, the action scenes started feeling a little bit less lively. And some of the perspective shots and the action angles just started getting a little rough. Like, I remember that one scene where they had the assassin guy was supposed to take out the guy in the wheelchair, and you have this whole scene where <laughs> just Hotdog goes jumping, and it kind of does that whole, like, mid-air camera shift, and it just looked a little rough. It wasn't to the standards of the early segments of that series. So, again, I hope they hold their self together. I hope that they get their act together. I have zero expectations that they will, I just hope. I just hope, that's all. Either way, the possibilities are endless. I am super excited. I love the fact that they are not letting this end because this is something that they, this is a, a lightning in the bottle. And and surprising, like I said, that it took them so long to bank on it and continue it on. So could not be more excited. Literally, if you have not watched Liquid Stick Oil, please go watch it. It was one of my favorite anime of 2022 and it deserves to be watched. It's It's excellent. I love it to death. And if you loved it like I did and you're not watching Magical Revolution, go watch that because it's got the same feels. It's got the same feels in there. Anyways, I just want to jump on here, make a quick video, letting you guys know that this is happening at least. Again, we'll have to wait to find out more details later on, but super excited. Cannot wait. Absolutely love Liquid Sequoil. If you've not already, make sure to check out my videos on Liquid Sequoil. I did like a full like episode by episode impressions on it. Big review on it. Had a lot of fun with the series and I cannot wait for the second season slash movie. <laughs> Watch well, just a single episode OVA. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, did make sure to that like button down below. Comment. Let me know what's all the news here. Are you excited? Are you shrug? I know there's some people didn't like it. That's fine. Additionally, if you're new to the channel, make sure that subscribe button so you got my content. I do news reviews, first impressions, top list. If it's anime, it's pretty much here. Additionally, if you want to support the channel more, we have a Patreon link, tips link, super thanks button down below, as well as a membership. Greatly appreciate it, but it supports the channel. And y'all take care.